What's up, guys? I'm really fucking tired and shit. Oh my god, I'm not getting enough sleep. It's I've been up all night. I'm um, on Twitch. Then I had a what you call, it, and then my friend wanted me to come outside and do some shit. I'm just like, what? And no, it's not any fucking thing illegal. You just want to go to the park and hang out. And I'm just like, fucking sure, why not? So anyway, let's just get to this fucking story. So, um, one day I I have this friend. Um, really weird like he wants to be a gangster so bad like he pretends to be a gangster well not even pretends he just acts like a gay. he's a gangster like he thinks he's in a gang called a uh, GD because he has a stepbrother that's in it but reality he's not he's not like he's not really bad at all like in middle school and stuff he was actually one of the worst in uh whatever grade it is and um i remember you know he used to be really bad but he wouldn't steal he wouldn't do anything as bad so he was trying to impress his brother i mean like well his stepbrother he would always talk you know he'd always you know i mean act like he's some act like he's the badass of the world and his brother would actually call him out on this bullshit. Well, stepbrother called him out on this bullshit. And I thought it was kind of funny. So, one day, they were, I mean, I went over to his house because I wanted to hear what the hell they were going to be arguing about today. I was actually so eager to go over there and see what the fuck they're going to about to fight about. Then, um, one day, oh my god, I can't, I, I still laugh <laughs> when I went through this story. So, I was about 13 years old, and we went to his house. I went to his house just to see what's up, cause they're gonna, you know, they he's gonna act like he's in, he's badass like usual. Little 13 year old act like he's a badass like usual. Like that's not that's like the most common thing ever, because you know I'll be on PS, I'll be on my PS4, and I'm hearing that I fuck my cousins or whatever, something like that. I don't fucking know. So. We get to so I'm at his house and they ha they have an arguing they're arguing over something little <laughs> and you know I'm just sitting there and my friend so his stepbrother like he came out like he came out of the what you call it he came out of the bathroom after the shower and his stepbrother literally pulled his pants down. And his girlfriend was there. My friend's girlfriend was there. And she's like a little bit older than him. By a year or something like that. And everybody just like... It was just like... I'm not gay or anything, but I was just like... The fuck? I'm like... And his girlfriend just like literally just started bursting out laughing so hard. Like... They were like, damn. So, his bro stepbrother unpants him. And what do you know? He has the most tiniest schlong of all time. It's like, as big, it's not even as big as my pinky. And what made it funny is that, you know, I quickly turned away. I actually saw a little glimpse of it. And I'm, no, I'm not fucking gay. But I had a, but my friend, oh my god. My friend was freaking the fuck out. He was yelling at um, his stepbrother. But everybody in the, his room, his sister, both of his sisters were just laughing at him. It was pure humiliation at its finest. Like, it like it was real it was probably the one of the most funniest things in my life I've ever experienced. And I'm like what the f like I, my reaction I was like what the fuck like he's all big and fat and stuff like he's a little fat yes I'm chub and his girlfriend literally was like I'm breaking up with you you have a small dinger and if you ever think about putting it up to me, putting it in me and she's like he's like no because they gotta go to the room and fucking talk and he was like no no, I'm nothing without you. Please, please stay with me. 
He's like, no, I don't want a guy who's gonna just have a small dick. Like, she was, like, making fun of it in his face. And I'm just gonna say, ladies, don't do this to a guy. Because it makes a co their confidence for, like, shit, really. It does, and, you know, it, it gets annoying. It's like, is that what you're really just gonna say, is I have a small dick? Like, what the fuck? But, um, I've had friends freak the fuck out when you say they have a small dick. I, it's just a weird little topic. Like, why the fuck does guys freak out about that shit? Like, I, you know, there's a couple girls that set me made up a rumor about that. But, you know, we gotta realize these girls are hoes. And these girls will find, like, some of these girls that we used to have sex with in high school. Like, they fucking had sex with, like... A bunt like any guy they could get their hands on. I remember want me and my friend uh we went to fucking uh what you call it. I mean to the biggest hoe's house and I've you know, we've fucked her. You know, everybody got their you know, everybody got everybody got my sloppy seconds. Well not really mine. It was my friend's I got his sloppy seconds. And it was just like what the fuck? Like are you fucking kidding me? This is like the weirdest shit of all time. Like, what the fuck? And she's, so we go to their, her house, and she's just like, yeah, you know Michael? He had a small dick. And I'm like, who the fuck is this Michael guy? And he's like that one kid in school that, well, I'm not gonna say his name. And I was like, what the fuck? Even though I just said his name. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. And then she said I had a small dick and all my friends had a small dick. And then once we had sex with another girl, they were like, they didn't say anything about having, a, I mean, us with small dicks. <coughs> but, you know, the, see, girls at my school are like straight up hoes. It's like... Well, it's not really they're straight up hoes, it's just they're easy to take advantage of. If you want to fuck them, it's easy as hell. It's like, not difficult. I don't understand how it would be difficult, yo, know, not to fuck them. Because they're just easy. All you gotta do, you know, we've we've actually talked about it, how we could fuck these girls. You know, like, we'll be at a table and we'll talk about, you know, how much girls we'd be getting with. And, you know, well, actually, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I really didn't go after a lot of, I only, like, I only, you know, have sex with girls I date. That's just always me. But my fucking friends, they'd, like, have these competitions. Like, alright, I have sex with this girl three times. And then the next day, this girl three times. And believe it or not, they actually did hook up. Get girls to find girls to hook up with. And I'm just like. But there's some girls that actually at our school, like, it's just a huge, you know, divide of girls, how they are. Like, there's girls that I could be, like, really slutty. Like, I'm not even kidding. They could be really slutty, you know, try making, well, pleasing their man that they like to sit, put it as. Actually, I think it, I just call it hoeing it. But I've, um, what you call it, I've actually seen, you know, a bunch of girls like talk like control a guy at our school i've actually had a friend that used to do that and we i call him bit uh, i call him a, a bitch all the time well when i say mean like my mom's friends with his mom and yada 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 and i just call him a bitch and i'm like dude you have your bitch taking over you you know who's the real one who wears the who wears the real pants in the relationship and he's like i do I'm like, are you sure? Because your girlfriend tells you when to have sex with her. And you just do it. I'm like, you tell the bitch when you want to have sex. If you don't feel like having sex because you're always plowing her, then fucking don't have sex. You guys can, I don't fucking know, take a day off or something. You don't have to just fuck all the time. But then you got these fucking... Like, these girls... Tr okay. Okay. They try to command the fuck out of you. That's the problem with girls in our school. They try just taking over you. 
Like really, I mean, like a lot of guys in our school are using to manipulate. If you just open up your crotch and then bam, they'd be fucking. Oh, you yeah, don't do anything. You could probably make millions off of them. But you know, that's actually a pretty much of a douchey fucking thing. And then you're gonna get girls that want to do that shit. Damn it! I gave out an idea. So I'm just gonna say, watch out for fucking people who will do that shit. If you know you got a small danger, don't be fucking afraid. Like, it's nothing to be afraid about. It's really nothing to be afraid about. Who the fuck cares? And if you guys have sex stories and shit, then have fun. That's all I can fucking just say. Have fun. Because, you know, I don't really need pussy in my life. Well, no, I need some kind of pussy in my life. I'm more of the type that just chill out and hang out with people. I could... I like to hang out with everybody. That's my that's the type of guy I am. I like hanging out with everybody and drinking. Not really drinking, but just smoking. Um, yeah. So guys, John by here, bitch. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I'll shut the fuck up. Bye.